Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we are going to study multiple choice questions, important multiple choice questions from the pharmacology. In these questions are belongs to the first chapter, first section of pharmacology that is a general pharmacological principle. I prepared almost 50 questions, 50 multiple choice questions. You can expect these questions. You can use these questions as your revision for this chapter. So without taking much of your time, uh, we can start now. The question number one, an orphan drug is, options are a very cheap drug, a drug which has no therapeutic use. A drug needed for the treatment or prevention of a rare disease. A drug which acts on orphanin receptors. The correct answer is option C. Orphan drug is useful for the treatment or prevention of a rare disease. This orphan drug also is used for some endemic diseases also. So maybe in the option there will be that also so at that time you had to click for that options question number two compared to subcutaneous injection that is sc injections sc injection the intramuscular injection of drug intramuscular injection of drugs is more painful produces faster response is unsuitable for deport preparation carries greater risk of anaphylactic reaction Compared to SC, these IM injections are, they produce faster response. Options B is the correct answer. But subcutaneous injections are, we cannot inject medicines with the irritation. That means irritable drugs cannot be injected through subcutaneous method. We had to opt IV method, IV injection method. Subcutaneous method actually we can do itself, but IV we cannot do. We had help of uh, health professionals. Next question, question number three: Essential drug are essential drugs are life-saving drug, drug that meet the priority healthcare needs of the population, drugs that must be present in the emergency bag of a doctor. Last option, drug that are listed in the pharmacopoeia of a country so what is essential drug the correct answer is drugs that meet the priority health care needs of the population question three option b is the correct answer that is the essential drug definition we are moving to the next question question number four Drug administered through the following route is most likely to be subjected to first pass metabolism. Through which route the drug is most likely to be subjected to first pass metabolism? Options are oral, sublingual, subcutaneous, rectal. The correct answer is option A, oral. As compared to sublingual, subcutaneous and rectal, oral has oral route is more subjected to first pass metabolism in case of a rectal route 50 percentage of water is absorbed through external hemorrhoid vein are getting for first pass metabolism but through internal hemorrhoid vein there is no first pass metabolism in case of rectal the last fifth, fifth question which of the following drugs is administered by intranasal spray or application for systemic action? Options are phenylephrine, desmopressin, azelastin, beclomethazone, dipropionate. The correct answer is option B, desmopressin. Next question, question number six. Select the route of administration which carries the highest risk of adversely affecting vital function the route of administration which carries highest risk of adverse reaction options are intra articular i mean intra arterial injection intra thecal injection intra venous injection intra muscular injection the correct answer is option c intra venous injection 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द ड्रग्स क्रॉस बायोलॉजिकल मेम्ब्रेन प्राइमरली बाय पासिव मेटाबॉलिज्म फैसिलिटेटेड डिफ्यूशन एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट पिनोसाइटोसिस इस इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन द करेक्ट आंसर इस पासिव डिफ्यूशन पासिव डिफ्यूशन इस द मेजर मेथड ऑफ मेजोरिटी ऑफ द ड्रग्स व्हिच क्रॉसेस बायोलॉजिकल मेम्ब्रेन which of the following is a weakly acidic drug atropine chloroquine ephedrine phenytoin phenytoin is weakly acidic drug question number 9 bioavailability of drug reverse to what is bioavailability options percentage of administered dose that reaches systemic circulation in the unchanged form ratio of oral to parenteral dose Ratio of orally administered drug to that excreted in the feces. Ratio of drug excreted unchanged in urine to that excreted as metabolite. Correct answer is option A. Percentage of administered dose that reaches systemic circulation in the unchanged form. That is bioavailability. Question number 9, I mean 10, active transport of a substance across biological membrane has the following characteristic except. Active transport of a substance across biological membrane has the following characteristics except. It's specific, it is pH dependent, it is saturable, it requires metabolic energy. Except option B, all are correct regarding active transport. Here, the correct answer is option B. So, it is not a pH dependent transport. Next question, question number 11. The most important factor governing absorption of a drug from intact skin is Molecular weight of the drug, site of application, lipid solubility of the drug, nature of the base used in the formulation. Correct answer is option C, lipid solubility. Next question, question number 12. Which of the following is not true of the blood brain barrier? Which of the following is not true about the blood brain barrier? Options are it is constituted by tight junctions between the endothelial cells of brain capillaries and the glial tissue. Option B, it allows passage of lipid soluble drugs into the brain. Option C, it limits entry of highly ionized drug into the brain. It uh, regulates the passage of substance from the brain to blood. The correct answer is option D. Next question, question number 13. The following attribute of a drug tends to reduce its volume of distribution. Options are high lipid solubility, low ionization at physiological pH value, high plasma protein binding, high tissue binding. The correct answer is high plasma protein binding. We will move to the next question, question number 14. High plasma protein binding increases volume of distribution of the drug, facilitates glomerular filtration of the drug, minimizes drug interactions, generally makes the drug long acting. High plasma protein binding, option D is the correct answer. The drug will be long acting. Question number 15. A prodrug is a prototype member of a class of drugs. The oldest member of class of drug, the inactive drug that is transformed into the body into the active form, active metabolite. Then a drug that is stored in the body tissue and is then gradually released in the circulation. We know that prodrug is an inactive drug that is transformed in the body to an active metabolite. Next question, question number 16. The most commonly occurring conjugation reaction for the drug and their metabolite is glucuronidation. This question is based on the conjugation. So, biotransformation in the conjugation, which is the con conjugation reaction, which is the most common occurring. 
ഗ്ലൂക്കോറോണൈഡേഷൻ അസറ്റിലേഷൻ മെത്തിലേഷൻ ദെൻ ഗ്ലൂട്ടാത്തോയോൺ കോൺജുഗേഷൻ ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ദിസ് വിച്ച് വൺ ഈസ് മോസ്റ്റ് കോമൺലി ഒക്കെയും ദ കറക്റ്റ് ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ ഗ്ലൂക്കോറിനോഡേഷൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്പർ സെവൻറ്റീൻ വിച്ച് ഓഫ് ദ ഫോളോയിങ് സൈറ്റോക്രോം പി ഫോർ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഐസോ എൻസൈംസ് ഈസ് ഇൻവോൾവ് ഇൻ ദ മെറ്റബോളിസം ഓഫ് ലാർജസ്റ്റ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ഡ്രഗ്സ് ഇൻ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ് ആൻഡ് ഹാസ് ബീൻ ഇംപ്ലിക്കേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ സം ഡേഞ്ചറസ് ഡ്രഗ് ഇൻട്രാക്ഷൻസ് സൈറ്റോക്രോം പി ത്രീ എ ഫോർ സൈറ്റോക്രോം പി ടു സി നയൻ സൈറ്റോക്രോം പി ടു ഇ വൺ സൈറ്റോക്രോം പി വൺ എ ടു ദ കറക്റ്റ് ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ സൈറ്റോക്രോം പി ത്രീ എ ഫോർ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്പർ എയ്റ്റീൻ സെലക്ട് ദ ഡ്രഗ് വിച്ച് ഹാസ് ബീൻ ഫൗണ്ട് ടു ബി എ സ്ട്രോങ് ഹ്യൂമൻ ടെറാറ്റോജൻ ഐസോനിയാസിഡ് ഐസോട്രിറ്റിനോയിൻ ഹൈഡ്രലാസിൻ പ്രൊപ്പൈൽ തയോയോറാസിൻ കറക്റ്റ് ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി ഹൈസോട്രിറ്റിനോയിൻ വിച്ച് ഈസ് കമ്മിങ് അണ്ടർ കാറ്റഗറി എക്സ് question number 19 which of the following constitute drug abuse which of the following constitute drug abuse options are physician prescribed use of penicillin g for the cure of viral fever option b self administration of aspirin to relieve headache repeated self administration of morphine to derive euphoria euphoria and last option all of the above the correct answer is option c administration of morphine repeated administration of morphine to derive euphoria the last question of this video question number 20 the essential feature in the drug addiction is options are physical dependence psychological independent psychological dependence both physical and psychological dependence psychiatric abnormality the correct answer is option b psychological dependence he is the essential feature in the drug addiction so guys if you like this video uh, if you didn't subscribe until now my channel subscribe the channel youtube ns pharma youtube channel and also press the bell button and share with your pharmacy friends in coming videos we can see the part 2 and part 3 so that we can cover this uh, chapters completely thank you